to free.
Penny Hooks to take the ball right at midfield. Changed directions quite a few times, but he's got some running room on the far side. Flag is down. Another flag is down. Let's see if we can get the number of who's taken his place. Number 15, Kenny Hooks, caught right over the center, and he's in for the score. Our own 43-yard line. Krieger back to pass. Lofts one up on the left side. And it by number 15, Kenny Hooks. Five. Krieger back to pass. Down to Kenny Hooks at the 15-yard line. They're owning a 5-1 record, but it would be a battle against the revved-up Warriors, who are 6-0 and rank first in the state's Class A poll. The Panthers were on the move early until Webster's Kenny Hooks came up with the interception. However, the Warriors couldn't capitalize, and the first quarter ended soon. Great stuff there. Warriors defense strong all year. Kenny Hooks gets his hooks into this one, makes the nice diving interception that often.
start. On their first drive, quarterback Jeff Krieger back to pass, and he found Kenny Hooks in the back of the end zone, 7 -0. Webster is going to open up the playbook. Watch this one. Up. Webster would try to get a little trickery going here. Run the reverse to Kerry Harris, and he just easily scoots in for the touchdown. 7 0 Warriors. Still first quarter. Webster's Brandon. Webster is going to open up the playbook. Watch this one. On the reverse, that's Kenny Hooks. He's got the corner, got the pylon, and a touchdown. 7 0. They turn on the D. R.H. is George Heath attempts to pass, but Kenny Hooks is there to pick it off, and he's heading in the other direction. He would take it all the way down to the 10-yard line to set up another score, Webster. the break. 
second half, and Webster kept on rolling. Krieger finds Kenny Hooks for the big gain. Ashton Skacia with... Flags at half mass. As for the game, 7-3 Webster. Last play of the first half, Jeff Krieger to Kenny Hook. Bust a couple tackles down the sideline. And that's a touchdown as time expires 14 -3. Powers in to make it 7-3. Then right before the half, Jeff Krieger hitting Kenny Hook. He breaks a few tackles and takes it all the way for six. Webster goes on to win 35-9. They improve and it was Webster's last play of the second quarter. Jeff Krieger to Kenny Hook, 60-yard touchdown pass. He dives in right at the end for the 14-3 Webster lead. We move to the third quarter now. Ashton. battle. Jeff Krieger, what a year he's had finding Kenny Hooks. They hook up down to the 10-yard line. From there, three yards. The Warriors get off to a good start in the first quarter. Jeff Krieger found one of his favorite targets. Kenny Hooks for the long gain. Carl Garrett. Krieger hands off the reverse to Kenny Hooks, who turns up field and takes off for an 80-yard gain before Jasmine Williams knocks him out at the three. From there, Ashton... The defending state class double the second half, and the defense still in charge. 
Shane Dalton's pass is picked off by a leaping Kenny Hawk. The Warriors. Jamestown added a field goal, and with time running out on the Warriors in the fourth, Kent is off to the races. The return is to the six-yard line. Skacia took the ball in from the one, and the lead was... Jamestown is going to fake a punt. Webster has it snuffed out, intercepted by Kenny Holmes, but a flag on the play, holding on Webster. The Warriors... Eddie Mead, senior all-star game here at Faber Stadium on the campus of the University of Rochester. My name is Pat Duggan that are, have been picked uh, for uh, the All-Star game tonight. Four of them are all Greater Rochester. And uh, just briefly, uh, I think what you can look for tonight is certainly uh, the threat from Kenny Hooks, uh, wide receiver from Webster. He's their big play guy, and uh, you know in tough situations, uh, they're gonna go to him for big, big yards. The other story here... Uh, it's Kenny Hooks. Kenny Hooks of Webster. Well, there you go. You knew sooner or later he was going to get a call, and uh, I think you'll see him more on uh, just exactly what we saw there on long patterns instead of coming in across the middle, but great speed, and uh, once he catches the ball, a great open field runner. Kenny Hooks does uh, a little better job going across the field than he does on a down pattern. I, I've, I've seen Bob. Uh, he, he tends to be able to come into the ball better than, he, than in a down pattern. Look for him again right here. Third down and 22. 11 seconds left. Good snap. Good kick. Good kick. Down in about the seven yard line. Kenny Hooks with the return, taken down by number one, Darren Miller, Greece Athena. Ball 
tell you, anytime Kenny Hooks has his hands on that football, he is a threat. He can break tackles, he can uh, run laterally, he goes down the field very quickly. And you give him just a little seam, and he can turn it into uh, a lot of pay dirt in a very short period of time. Made a nice move on that run back. A quick game. Third and about seven for the East squad. Comes up the Allen under the center. Looking downfield. Like I said, that's got to be Kenny Hooks, number 15. Kenny Hooks on a pass from Concepcion. <laughs> 42 yard pass completion. However, there's a flag on the play. Well, Two this this will be uh, this will be huge if uh, this play ends up coming back. But uh, you're absolutely right, uh, Jim. Kenny Hooks, it's just a matter of time before he's going to get his hands on the ball. They're going to start going to him. And he just uh, was a Monroe County all-star uh, receiver for Webster. And, and a big play man over and over and over again. He finished, he finished with uh, 563 yards and uh, four TDs on, on 30 receptions for the year. Ineligible but, receiver downfield, guys, on that, that call. That's a shame. That is a, that is a darn shame because I'm telling you something. Kenny Hooks has worked hard to get open, and under he ran underneath that ball. He outran his defender and ran underneath that ball to catch that ball. He's a great receiver, and I'm not going. And Concepcion threw that ball at least what 40 yards in the air. I figured about 42 yards where he went down. He only took a couple of steps, so it might, you're right, 40 yards, and he led him perfectly. And uh, Hooks was right there. This is this is the, this is this is too bad because now it brings up fourth down. They got a punt, but I, I'm wondering why you don't have Kenny Hooks back in the game. Okay, you took He's him out. He probably makes a taking catch. a blow, and maybe that's why they called the timeout because they want him back in the game, and he just needed a breather first. And second. here he comes. I know, guys, that Dan Alonji, number 12, uh, a wide receiver from Mid Lakes, uh, got hurt in practice. He's over. See this guy? There's nothing but muscle. And some some people say it's in my head too. So all right, over to Kenny Hooks. Hooks twists out of that one. There's a stiff arm. He's tall. Oh, oh, oh. Great on the west. Well, that's Pete near. near. Uh, and number number four came up there too. Let me tell you, he uh, Dario Dario Camacho came up there. I don't know how he got out of the grass with that one guy. <laughs> <laughs> he just around and was gone again. Did a spin move. He's probably saying to himself, listen, there's two minutes to go in this game. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Fourth down and four.